first Wednesday morning of bow season here in the 2019 season. We're sitting over here on top of a, a hill, well, on the side of a hill, really, in between a creek crossing and an acorn flat that's up here above me, right over my shoulder right here. Uh, we came in here earlier this year, Brian and I did, move the stand down to here and put some corn and a little bit of big and jay out, and they had been tearing it up. But I did it old school this year. Uh, most years I run a camera and kind of take inventory. This year I didn't. Last year we had some really good bucks on camera over here, but I think coming in and checking the camera like I was doing messed me up last year. So this year I stayed out, kind of played it safe, kept my scent out of here. So this morning hopefully uh, something will show up and we can get it done.
smoked a big old doe. See here and watched her for 15 minutes or more. Struggling to try to find a shot on her. Let's see if I can find her. There she is. She ran a hole of 10 steps. Absolutely smoked her. Probably should have waited for a buck. That's early season. It's the first week. Still got a lot of season to go. It could happen any time. She's 25 yards laying there dead. But we're gonna, we're gonna get on the phone call Grant right fast. I'm sitting here looking at a dead nanny. Yeah, I smoked today. Yeah, I shot her. She was 20 yards, and uh, she ran. She went about 10 steps, and she ain't moved. She stood there and wobbled and slapped the ground, dude. Yeah, it's on video. You're on video right now. You're on video right now. I said you're on video right now. Man. Hang on. Come get me. I'm ready to go. Help. All right. I'll come get you before I go look at anything. Uh, sure, Swacker? Yeah, yeah, I shot her with a Swacker, dude. Is that the only deer you seen? Uh, yeah, that's the only deer I've seen. Oh, that's the only one you need to put your eye. That's exactly right. Swacker, dude. Swacker City, baby. Beast. Middle. Oh. Yeah, we pinched all right. Middle tree is on the board. Hey, yeah, I'll do it. Hi, I'll be uh, there. I'll be there in a few sure. minutes. See you in a second. All right, see you in a second. All right, bye. See you. You guys can think I'm crazy if you want to. But that's like the sixth deer I've ever killed with a bow. I mean, look at me. I am jacked up. This is one thing that never gets old to me. Lord's blessed us. Lord's blessed us good. Can't thank him enough. It's, he's the reason that right there is possible. It's been a good morning so far. So since we know she's not going anywhere and she didn't run 10 feet, we're going to pack up, get down. I ain't even going to go over to her. We're going to go get Grant. And he's going to come help me get her out in the field and get her to the truck. So, y'all stay with me. All right, well, we went to the house, picked up Grant, and we're going to go back in here and get this doe. really ain't much of a track job, but uh, let's go in here and get her. Earlier this morning when I was in the tree, what I was talking about, we got a white oak beside of you, and there's, this whole area is full of white oaks and red oaks, and once we get in here, we'll show you. Last year, there's a tree. we moved, uh, moved the stand right down here. You can see my safety strap. I 
there on the tree. So as they're on their way in, they're not going to see me. So I'm more hidden. And instead of cutting a lot of shooting lanes, I'm just going to use what lanes there is naturally. And it worked out pretty good this morning. up on the camera but it is just absolutely too up where his deer has been here eating his acre. But now well, here's that. Mm-hmm. She's standing right here. And right back through those limbs is where I was at. There's what she saw. Wasn't much was it? Mm -mm. And there's as far as she went. You want to walk it off? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Dude, you smoked her. Blades all right. Oh, I think I can use that one again. Sharpen it a little bit. That's the kind of arrows we're looking for. Good blood. Oh yeah, real good blood. All right, let's go look at her. Yeah, I'd say the gosh, like it sprayed plumb up the heel. And that's the entrance, too. Yeah, that's where it went in. I'll see the exit. Okay. Man, something has been messing with this deer's head. Both of her ears are just scarred up bad. Let's roll it over. There's what came out. Good boy. That's about as good as it gets there. Oh yeah. Pretty good exit hole too. Man that's a one inch cut. An inch and a quarter. I'm done for. I'm over. All right, so we got her out here in the field now. It's the doe we shot this morning. It's the opening week of bow season here in North Carolina. It's Wednesday. Um, through previous years hunting this farm, uh, we I've had it for 13 years. And, uh, you know, this food plot right here has been here just as long and I think this is probably where she was heading um, we came in here early season put a little bit of big and J out put some corn just kind of see if it was getting eat we didn't put any cameras out uh, we were just trying to stay out of here uh, keep the pressure down last year as I was saying earlier we had a lot of good bucks on camera but they would show up like once every two three weeks and it was just hard to pattern them, so uh, we moved out of the field where we was hunting, and we moved into the acorns. And uh, this morning, just from coming in here about three weeks ago, I guess, and put some more big and J out, and looked at the ground, and as you can see on the recovery there, there's acorns just everywhere. The ground's tore up, and 
I knew that this morning that was the place to be because they'd been there eating acorns this morning. I didn't know what to expect. It's just kind of like, you know, growing up, we never had trail cameras. And uh, you just come hunt a place, and if it walked out, you shot it. And that's kind of like kind of what we did this morning. And uh, it's just one big doe. It's, like I say, it's early season. Um, I would have rather had a buck, but she walked out, and I said, you know what? I'm going to pinch this morning, and we did. Uh, I'm using the uh, Obsession turmoil rz uh, it's last year's model using schwackers and i'm using the chinese schwackers i mean they work just as good and that broadhead right there is good enough to go through another deer just clean it up sharpen the blades a little bit and we're ready to go um using hha optimizer single pin i tell you i love that sight sight is awesome but well i guess the fun part's over now now the work's got to begin Right out here behind us where this big oak's at, you can't see it, there's a bend and we go down a hill and then right over here through the trees we got another pretty long hill to drag this thing up. So Can't thank the good Lord enough for blessing us this morning to get this deer. Middle tree outdoors, that's what we're all about, you know. We call it middle tree because Jesus died on the middle cross. And uh, you know, for us, that's, that's the focal point of everything we try to do. We're not out here for ourselves. We're out here because he put he put these animals on the earth for a reason, and I, and if it's just to feed me, that's fine because they are so they are so good to eat. If you've never tried venison, you should give it a try. But like I said I just can't thank the Lord enough for everything He does, and for letting giving me the strength and good friends to be able to share these moments with. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna get to dragging. Like and subscribe, and stay with us. Hopefully, we'll have a few more kills. Get Grant on camera. Get Brian on camera. Maybe. Maybe some other people. So y'all just stay with us. That's what good friends are for. To video your other friend struggling as he carries the deer out. support let's go Chris you got it Chris flake out on me now oh also recovery shoes Crocs why not We get the truck, buddy. I know. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your turn in. 
all 10 feet. I have to do it all. I'll let you know. Fire on the left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the light, Grant. Uh, about 110. That's what I guess. What do you think? Feels like 200 when you drag it. Well, yeah, I guess 110 is probably pretty accurate.